Krita is a concept creation and animating program, while Photoshop is a photo editing and manipulation program. Which one is for you? This is Krita vs Photoshop debate to help you decide. So let's get started. So what are both? As mentioned, Krita is used to draw and animate, while Photoshop is for images and videos, but it has always been an image editor. A new user will definitely find both unpleasant. If you have used one, learning the other one won't be hard. Both have a toolbar to the left with many panels to the right. The developers of both have added the workspace functionality to offer a more particular layout on the work type. As you choose a workspace in the window navigation, the interface changes. Krita has 9 workspaces including animation, big paint and small vector. Photoshop on the other hand offers 5 workspaces. These are Essentials, 3D, Motion, Painting and Photography. Users can create their own workspaces as both programs allow customization of the interface. One of the things that separate them is the number of editing tools. Both offer over 20 tools for editing photos and design concepts. Here's the list of all the common features in both programs. Krita on its own has some options that you don't find in Photoshop. These include Freehand Path Tool, Measure Tool, Freehand Selection, etc. Well, Photoshop also has tools that Krita does not have. Because Photoshop is a photo editing tool, it has pretty much everything you need to edit photos. Here's the list of all the options that can do hundreds of edits. Alright, let's talk about the features that make them unique. Both have a fair share of options. The power of Krita is animation. You can design something and animate it using the keyframes. The animations can be exported in MP4 format. It also has many other functionalities we don't see in its opponent. These include extended brush options, more painting features, support to download brushes, and open GL support that improves rotation and zooming. Photoshop also supports many options that you don't find in Krita. Some of those include more format support, layer blending, plugins, more filters, 3D text, integration with other Adobe apps, subject selection, templates, cloud and collaboration support, and many image presets. Moving on, you find Krita on desktop and mobile phones. The mobile phone app is still in development and is not available for every device. Photoshop along with desktop supports mobile. The iPad app is more powerful and feature rich than Android and iPhone apps. Before we go to the pricing, let's explore the supported file formats. Both support raster, vector and raw formats. You can save files in the PSD format to open in other supported programs. The next section covers the pricing. Krita is open source and free to use. Photoshop is a premium application using monthly and yearly subscription models. You will be paying $10 per month and it offers Photoshop, Lightroom and 10 GB of cloud storage. So which one is for you? The answer is clear. Both are career rich products if used properly. Both have the basic options for editing photos and designing art. If you want a photo editing tool, go with Photoshop. If you want a drawing and animating program to design characters, concepts and other anime type things, go with Krita. Anyway, this was the Krita vs Photoshop comparison. Take care.